Hey friends, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video where we talk about our hobbies. We talk about all the things that we enjoy, particularly in this time of season. Going into autumn is not only my favorite season, but also because you can just be cozy with a chai latte. And I think I have got all of them. These are all my favorite ones um, that I've put together. So hopefully, there's something for everybody because hobbies are just so fun to get into. The first one that I have thought about is punch needling. So this kind of comes under the textile kind of category. I've never done it before, but I have found this um, girl on Etsy. I'll put her shop here and she makes these little coasters. So they've got like toast or little cookie that you've eaten and she does like loads of different kinds of coasters and they just look really cozy. But also on her shop, she actually sells the kits so um if you wanted to obviously do it try it yourself then then she actually sells them i also have found some like embroidery to have a go at so or like cross stitching that kind of comes underneath as well so those are quite easy to kind of start you off on that journey. The second idea that I had was candles. Now, not just any candles, because you can get kits that um, you can do. So I have found, if you're from the UK, you'll know of the shop The Range. And in The Range, they've got um, this one. So it's just these pillar candles, and it's actually got stencils that you can use. Obviously, you can use your own, but it gives you the stencils that you can um, use, and the paint for the paintbrush, and you can make your own four candles. So this is something that I'm going to be doing, and this was four ninety nine. So again not expensive also what you could do with these is you can put these candles in a tray um, like a baking tray and put like warm water from like your tap make sure it's got warm and then you place these candles inside until they begin to become malleable and then you can bend them into different like, like wiggles and you can then paint the, the things on after they've become wiggles or you can paint like ghost faces on like there they would be really cool for like if you're going for more of a halloween vibe but i think the fall and the autumn ones are really cool and then if you wasn't if you wanted to make a candle they also had some um molds that you could do um and it's got like colored what would you call that oh yeah colored pigments with the scent a molder needles and then obviously your wick and so this gives you the instructions to make the candle now i can't remember how much this is it isn't on here but i'm sure it was something like 5.99 it wasn't it wasn't too expensive so i was thinking like you could make pumpkin uh, shape candles or you could do the painting um i haven't done either of those i have made candles before but not shaped ones the next thing to make a little fairy garden if you've got children or even if you wanted it in the back garden anyway how cute is that you could make it in your garden i just thought that was such a unique idea and something that i hadn't thought about before but would be really cute to do imagine just going outside and having your little scarecrow that's like this big in your garden so cute I just love that. If you have been watching my shorts, you'll know that I went to a mosaic class. Now, this was the first time I've ever been to a mosaic class, but hear me out. It was, you know, I am a beginner at mosaic and it was hard for me, but I was thinking we could do like um, paper mosaics. So it doesn't have to be with ceramics because they were just hard for me to cut and maybe they will be fine for you to cut, but for me, yeah, not that great. But for you it might be fine so um so we could make mosaic art you could use like scrap pieces of paper from like books magazines you know that get posted through your door like the junk mail you could use that to cut out the colors um and then from that make a um mosaic piece of art from from all of those i think that would be really sweet to do kind of in the same realm i was thinking we could do some scrapbooking scrapbooking is such 
a good hobby. Um, you can obviously do your scrapbooking when you have pictures and you use the pictures to create the scrapbook or you could just do um, like you could go for an autumn walk and you could gather um, things on your walk like little twigs or little berries, little leaves that you collect and then bring them back and then create this trail of art on, a, on each page of the scrapbook and then each day could be what you find in your autumn day. Oh, like imagine going to like a coffee shop and just like I don't know taking either a picture or even like a part of the cup and then put it on the oh be like a memory of your autumn time that would be so cute another of my favorites and again if you've been around my videos for a while you will know that baking is something that brings me great joy i love it like i can't even explain it just the making the 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 smells it's a full sensory experience and if you're making the right things for um, autumn so like cinnamon buns they're so good i did a short on those as well um or banana loaf or apple crumble they're all thinking i'm thinking they're just gonna smell delicious like berry pie um i have got loads of recipes on here um i'll just pop a few pictures of things that i've baked on on my channel before but if you want to have the recipes they are below they are in the videos so um yeah baking for me brings me great joy and i just truly truly love it so if you've got any full uh, recipes that you um are looking forward to trying don't forget to the write them below because We've all got to share the goodness with each other because honestly, I love it so much. Kind of in the same realm, making festive drinks. Now, I don't know about you, but I went to Starbucks the other day and got a pumpkin spice latte and nearly cried at the price that they charged me. How can it be six pounds for a medium coffee? I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna be buying any more. As much as I love pumpkin spice, I'm sorry, I just can't justify six pounds, six pounds on a coffee. No. So, um, making your own festive fall drinks are probably the way forward. And then you can even get like your own syrup. You can buy some really unique ones, like pecan pie. You can make your own style, put squirt cream on top, add a little bit of cinnamon on top. It's gonna taste better than the shops. Okay, the next cozy hobby has to be coloring. I'm sorry, but look at how cute. I mean, this mushroom, so adorable. And this little foxy, oh, I love it so much. And just like coloring the little pictures, the little deer. And it just reminds me, at the moment, some of the birds are in my, um, in my garden and they're hopping like in the grass. It's really cute. I just love them, I love them so much. So here's a little squirrel. And um, I did these actually, I was supposed to be doing some training and online training, I don't know what it is, but it's, it, it's long. And so because it's long, um, I kind of did this at the same time and it kind of worked out. So it actually went by faster than um, than I thought. So I think more people, more companies should let you colour while the training's going on because you can actually concentrate at the same time and it not be boring because your brain's kind of like doing two things like listening but also being active so it helps. Okay, next hobby and one that I get more into in the autumn winter times and that is gaming. I am here for all of the games for autumn. Particularly what I always end up going back to is Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing in the autumn is so sweet. I just love it so much. It's so cute with all like the little pumpkin decorations. Yeah, I love it. So you will see me on Animal Crossing you will see me there. The next cosy hobby would be going for like an autumn walk but at the same time maybe at the end of the autumn walk there's a farmer's market. I love going to a farmer's market, seeing all the fresh produce, 
even like the jams and the preservatives I love getting they're just yeah they taste incredible and um, another thing usually on the farms um, obviously by autumn it's pumpkin time but also having a little photo shoot with your friends um, is really really nice I um, love going to the pumpkin patch with my friends and just enjoying the moment and just having that time together but also taking some pictures and memories um, and just yeah the last one that I'm going to say is something that I actually want to start doing is creating simmer pots so simmer pots are essentially all like herbs and spices and, and uh, fruits and you put inside the pot and then you boil it and it just naturally makes your room and your area smell, well depends obviously what you're, what you're simmering, um, but yeah it, it makes it smell wonderful. Also reading in the fall, reading in the fall, oh my goodness. I love reading, cozying up with a blanket. I'm more of like a rom-com and fantasy kind of reader. So like anything that has little cute characters, I love anything that has uh, a nice romantic storyline, I love. Um, I'm not into like scary books, but I do enjoy a good read. So again, if you've got any recommendations um, for autumn, then please let me know be below because I need some books on there. I need to, I want some books, I want some books. So yeah, I hope that you have got some ideas that you want to do for autumn. And if you have, then let me know which one's your favorites or if you've got some of your own that I haven't said, then let me know down below because guys, we can all like enjoy the whole autumn together and find out what each other likes because I would love to get to know you guys in the comments as well so without further ado welcome into the autumn content on the channel and I hope that you are here for the ride because this is my favorite season and yeah I shall see you in the next video guys stay blessed and bye guys